Carry On by Verna Sherd, read for LibriVox.org by Jason in Panama. Carry On That all freedom may abide, carry on. For the brave who fought and died, carry on. England's flag so long adored is the banner of the Lord. His the cannon, his the sword. Carry on and on, carry on. Through the night of death and tears, carry on. Through the hour that scars and sears, carry on. Legions in the flame-torn sky, armies that go reeling by. Only once can each man die, carry on. For the things you count the best, carry on. Take love with you, leave the rest, carry on. Though the fight be short or long, men of ours, oh dear and strong, yours will be the victor's song. Carry on, and on, carry on. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Young Knights by Verna Sherd, read for LibriVox.org by Jason in Panama. The Young Knights. Now they remain to us forever young who with such splendor gave their youth away. Perpetual spring is their inheritance, though they have lived in Flanders and in France a round of years in one remembered day. They drained life's goblet as a joyous drought and left within the cup no bitter lees. Sweetly they answered to the king's behest and gallantly fared forth upon a quest beset by foes on land and on the seas so in the ancient world hath bloomed again the rose of old romance red as of yore the flower of high emprise hath whitely blown above the graves of those we call our own and we will know its fragrance evermore now if their deeds were written with the stars in golden letters on the midnight sky they would not care they were so young and dear they loved the best the things that were most near and gave no thought to glory far and high they need no shafts of marble pure and cold no painted windows radiantly bright across our hearts their names are carven deep in waking dreams and in the dreams of sleep they bring us still ineffable delight methinks heaven's gates swing open very wide to welcome in a host so fair and strong perchance the unharmed angels as they sing may envy these the battle scars they bring and sigh ere they take up the triumph song end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Shells by Verna Sherd, read for LibriVox.org by Jason in Panama. The Shells. O oh, my brave heart, O oh, my strong heart, my sweet heart and gay, the soul of me went with you the hour you marched away. For surely she is soulless, this woman white and still, who works with shining metal to make the things that kill. I tremble as I touch them, so strange they are, and bright. Each one will be a comet to break the purple night. Grey fear will ride before it, and death will ride behind. The sound of it will deafen, the light of it will blind. And whom it meets in passing, but God alone will know. Each one will blaze a trail in blood, will hew a road of woe. Oh, when the fear is on me, my heart grows faint and cold. I dare not think of what I do, of what my fingers hold. Then sounds a voice, Arise and make the weapons of the Lord. He rides upon the whirlwind, he hath need of shell and sword. His army is a mighty host, the lovely and the strong. They follow him to battle with trumpet and with song. O oh, my brave heart, my strong heart, my sweet heart and dear, tis not for me to falter, 
tis not for me to fear across the utmost barrier wherever you may be with joy unspent and deathless my soul will follow thee end of poem this recording is in the public domain the watcher by verna sherd read for librivox.org by jason in panama the watcher little white moon each night from heaven you lean to watch the lonely seas and all the earth between o oh, little shining moon what have you seen what have you seen upon the fields of france where through the drowsy grain the gay red poppies dance unheeding splintered gun or broken lance deep in the green wood shadow laced and still what is it you have found by fern bed and by rill what by each hollow and each little hill when o'er the sky the driven smoke clouds flee and through a dusky veil look down fearfully what do you find adrift upon the sea in the great mountains where the four winds blow where the king's cavalry and his foot soldiers go what have you seen beneath the shifting snow little white moon so old so strangely bright how could you still shine on unless you knew some night here in the world you watch all would be right end of poem this recording is in the public domain October Goes by Verna Sherd, read for LibriVox.org by Jason in Panama. October Goes October goes and its colors all pass. At dawn there's a silver film on the grass, and the reeds are shining as pipes of glass. But yesterweek where the cloud waves rolled down a wind-swept sky that was gray and cold, sailed the hunter's moon, a galleon of gold and now in the very depth of the night it is just a little flame blown and white or a broken-winged moth on a weary flight but the steadfast trees at the forest rim and the pines in places scented and dim still wait for one hunter and watch for him and the wind in the branches whispers why and the yellow leaves that go rustling by say only remember and sigh and sigh end of poem this recording is in the public domain dreams by verna sherd read for librivox dot org by jason in panama dreams keep thou thy dreams though joy should pass thee by hold to the rainbow beauty of thy thought it is for dreams that men will oft times die and count the passing reign of death as naught keep thou thy dreams though faith should faint and fail and time should lose thy fingers from the creeds the vision of the christ will still avail to lead thee on to truth and tender deeds keep thou thy dreams all the winter's cold when weeds are withered and the garden gray dream thou of roses with their hearts of gold beckon to summers that are on their way keep thou thy dreams the tissue of all wings is woven first of them from dreams are made the precious and imperishable things whose loveliness lives on and does not fade keep thou thy dreams intangible and dear as the blue ether of the utmost sky a dream may lift thy spirit past all fear and with the great may set thy feet on high end of poem this recording is in the public domain before the dawn by verna sheard read for librivox dot org by jason in panama before the dawn in that one darkest hour before the dawn is here each soul of us goes sailing close to the coast of fear there in the windless quiet from out the folded black 
the things we have forgotten or would forget come back old sorrows long abandoned or kept with lock and key steal from their prison places to bear us company all softly come our little sins our scarlet sins and gray to keep with us a vigil till breaking of the day and there are velvet footsteps or oft we seem to hear light garments brush against the dark so near so very near then heavily as weighted by tears each haunted moment goes for dawn steps down the morning sky in robes of gray and rose o fairies of the forest ring and little men in green and pixies of the moonlight and elves no eye hath seen brew us a magic potion of deep and fairy power a draught of lave for one night to tide us past that hour end of poem this recording is in the public domain crosses by virna shared read for LibriVox.org by Jason in Panama. Crosses All your broken war-spent heroes, Lord of war and grief, You pay with a cross of molded iron, Hard-wrought iron cold and gray. On the psalm you grant five thousand, And five thousand at Verdun. At the dawn of day you count them, And at setting of the sun on the trampled fields of flanders on the bitter roads of france where the big guns chant their war songs and the crimson death lights dance there you count the iron crosses of such high and far renown grim and gray the men who win them there's the cross and yours the crown but the little wooden crosses you have given the peaceful dead oh the little wooden crosses by each young low-lying head though the tender grasses hide them or they fall beneath the snows not a cross shall be forgotten god himself has counted those end of poem this recording is in the public domain the cry by virna shared Read for LibriVox.org by Jason in Panama The Cry They have laid him away. Even he who was always so strong and gay Will be locked in the earth till the judgment day. Dust unto dust, I have heard the priest say. He will never return. Though I weep my eyes blind, though I pray and yearn, Though the starlight goes out and the great suns burn into whitish ash, he will never return. So of weeping no more, it is tears fill the ocean from shore to shore. They have made the wind salt, the wind at my door. They harm the good ground, so of weeping no more. Not again, not again, do you hear the sea singing that one refrain? the pine trees the wind and the wearisome rain all whisper it never again never again who can tell me who knows where his lonely soul travels whither it goes has he gone like the leaves like yesterday's snows speak dear lord of death you who died and arose end of poem this recording is in the public domain. A War Chant by Virna Sherd, read for LibriVox.org by Jason in Panama. A War Chant O England, thy foe hath hated thee long, and his hate is a deadly thing. It was held in his heart till its growth was strong. Now words have woven it into a song for little children to sing. It is hatred that fashioned his shot and shell, and hatred hid death in the sea. In hatred the cannon have sounded a knell, o'er the little homes where the peaceful dwell, 
and the humble-hearted be. Thy foe hath swept the blue from the sky in a fury of smoke and flame. His guns are not stilled where the wounded lie. He hath shown no pity to those who die for the glory of his name. He sealed his hate with the blood of his men. Oh, the young in their coats of gray! They are cast aside, and in river and fen, Deep hidden where none will find them again Till the last white judgment day. Now mirth is forgotten and joy is dead, The world hath accepted its pain. Still over old battlefields newly red, The shattered ranks of his army are led In pomp and a high disdain. Thy anger grows slowly, for thou art great, O England, thou well-beloved land, When its tide is full risen, then thou art fate, And the angel who stands before the gate, The sword of flame in his hand. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. When Jonquils Blow by Verna Sheard, read for LibriVox.org, by Jason in Panama. When Jonquils Blow When Jonquils Blow, I think of one who sleeps beneath the green, And all the light and song of life and all the golden sheen Turn cold and still before my eyes, While pearl-edged boughs of May, seen through a sudden mist of tears, Are rimmed with ashen gray. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To One Who Sleeps by Virna Sheard, read for LibriVox.org by Jason in Panama. To One Who Sleeps Fare not too far, my own, down ways all strange and new. For I must find alone the road that leads to you. Enchantments may arise to lure thy little feet, And charm thy wandering eyes, yet wait for me, my sweet. Already earth doth seem a phantom place to me, And thy far home of dream is my reality. So this is just good night, some stars will rise and wane, but sure as comes the light, I'll be with thee again. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Sea by Virna Sheard, read for LibriVox.org by Jason in Panama. The Sea The sea is just a cradle wide and deep. A cradle that the moon rocks to and fro. What peace they find who there fall fast asleep. What lovely dreams, tis not for us to know. But God hath sent the angel of the sea To sing to them an endless lullaby. And that they may not dread night's mystery, He lights for them the candles of the sky. They are enfolded by the silken waves, And wrapped in shining blue and emerald green. They drift throughout opalescent ocean caves That only God himself hath ever seen. The great salt wind that no man holds in thrall Touches them softly as it passes by. I think the silver seagulls know them all, And greet them with their lonely tender cry. For but a little, little round of years, the sweet sun-sprinkled foam will be their bed, and they will slumber, hushed from any fears, to waken when the sea gives up her dead. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Comrades by Virna Sheard Read for LibriVox.org by Jason in Panama Comrades O mighty men of England who sleep on land and sea, How swiftly you would join our ranks if death could set you free! How gladly would they greet you, the young, the brave, the gay, 
if you came from your long sealed graves to march with them today. Oh, you would know each other and meet as friend with friend and fight and smile and jest at death until the battle's end. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Requiem by Virna Sheard, read for LibriVox.org by Jason in Panama. Requiem. Weep for the dead, weep for the swift slain dead. November skies, too few the tears that day and night are shed from women's eyes. Blow o'er them lightly with a soft caress, wind of the sea. If you are tender, they may miss love less where'er they be come gentle moon swing low your lantern light on reddened fields and find the lonely harvest of the night that battle yields banish the darkness filled with quivering dread lest they should know some last strange horror even they the dead sweet moon swing low Fold them at dawn, dear earth, within your arms so safe and strong. Hold them asleep till they forget alarms and woe and wrong. Master of kings, if peace be bought with pain, these paid the price. O oh, show thy tortured world that not in vain is sacrifice. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Lament by Virna Sheard, read for LibriVox.org by Jason in Panama. Lament. Here in my garden where the tulips grow, I walk alone. Dim are my eyes with tears, my feet are slow, my heart is stone. Though all the lovely earth again for me new sweetness yields, it matters not. Only the dead I see on battlefields. Only the dead I see, and strangely bright their faces shine as though the god of glory in the night had made them fine. Place for the victors, stoop my soul to touch their tunics hem. Tis those they loved who need tears overmuch. Oh, weep for them. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.